Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are going to be playing You Suck at Parking. It's essentially a puzzle driving game, which is a fun little combination. Uh, a challenging, slightly infuriating puzzle driving game at times. Um, but uh, I've been enjoying myself playing this one, I have to say. Uh, it is very creative. Uh, I have played through almost all of them, played almost all of the first island, and one level I gave up. Well, I'll come back to at some point, it was infuriating. Uh, so I'm on the second kind of island, if you like, the Antarctica uh, island. I haven't done any of these levels as of yet. I don't know what we're going to be tasked with doing. Uh, my guess is the, not gimmick as such, but the challenge on this level is going to be there's no grip. Uh, just looking at the looking at the road, uh, okay, so we've got two, so the way it works is over the map there are parking spaces and I've got to go and put my vehicle in said parking spaces. Um, very, very straightforward, but it gets more complicated as the game goes on. Now, uh, there is there's a bit less grip, it's not as less grip as I thought there was. There is no reverse in this and when your car comes to a stop that's the end of the run. And now, if that stop is in the uh, parking space, perfect. Um, if not, then you will have to reset and try again. Now, to perfect a level, you have to do it without using any excess cars. Uh, so, I there's two parking spaces there. That was perfect. Um, there's two parking spaces that only use two attempts. Um, sure you can do it quicker than that and everything uh, but it, it gradually I say it gradually it gets tougher and tougher uh, as these things go on there'll be more hazards whoop, that can cause you grief other than just falling off the map Oi, uh oh and there we go uh, <laughs> that was a little bit all over the place uh, right so we can just kind of I don't know I presume if we crash into those ice columns that's probably an insta die uh, I don't know I'm not gonna go to find out oh an overshot and there you see the thing. Now, I am a perfectionist, and if I overshoot one, I will tend to restart. Uh, so we have to go again. Whoop. Uh, we will... Uh, okay, well, see that one there. The way we overshot that one there meant I could actually kind of just sneak the car in. There is also a fuel gauge, something else to worry about. Now, this is more impactful in some levels than others. Oh, okay, no, these are destructible. Actually, that's not too bad. Um... Yeah, the fuel gauge can be more impactful. Basically means you can't run indefinitely with one car. Oh, no! <laughs> this is where the infuriating bit comes in. Uh, oh, I say the infuriating bit. Now, I could go and complete that level fairly easily uh, on that... Uh, with, with that run, so to speak, because I would have had more than enough time. Oh! That was close. Would have had more than enough time to get another car down there, but I want to try and perfect it, especially on these easier levels. I shouldn't be making silly errors like that. Um, now, as long as any bit of the car is in the parking space, it's fine. So you'll get away with just a wheel in the parking space. Oh, beans. Oh, come on now. I'm better than that. <laughs> um, so yeah, as long as you have a wheel in the parking space, that is okay. However, the vehicle stays there. Uh, now, what that means is for some of the levels, you can come across... Vehicles can get pushed out of the parking spaces if you're not careful. Um, you have... Yeah, you've got to think... And I, I like... I like the puzzle aspects. I mean, I've always been a fan of puzzle games and so on, and this is a, a puzzle, ooh, a puzzle driving game, and it is it is a good one. The handling it actually kind of reminds me quite a lot of Circuit Superstars in some way. I mean, of course, having the camera from this angle oh, is also always going to feel a little bit like that. I mean, the vehicles, are, the the vehicle that you have, you can get it looking different, but they all handle the same. Drives well enough. Uh, what the hell are we doing here? Now, I'm curious as to what the split ramp is for. And you see, this looks easy. But no, we can go. This is actually a very helpful little thing. You can go for an inspect, although it's not quite as much of a free camera as I'd like. You can't really spin it around completely. Um, now, this only looks like there's two parking spaces, which looks like it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We can just hit that split ramp with a quick sort of fall off the split ramp. Not really split ramp, but fall off the ramp, turn left, and then just drive down, and we should be fine to survive that. I feel like there's going to be a trick here. No, there is a third space. Where is the third? Oh dear. <laughs> I did it. Uh, do we reckon the third space might be under the ice cube? Oh, I, I haven't come across. Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. Can I push the ice cube out of the way? Yeah, all right. That's fine. So then we can. Oh, land on your wheels. Thank God for that. We can fall down here, make that corner no problem. 
We get stopped there nicely. And then we can take the ramp. Oh, over here. No, find some grip, find some grip, find some grip up there. Oh, come on, car, come on, car. Hey, that was very iffy. It's not going to be a great time, but it is going to be completed and we nearly ran out of fuel. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Let's have a little bit of an inspect. Ooh, I've not seen those before. What are those? Those... Uh, they look like bumpers, like pinball bumpers. That can only go well. Sure. Uh, we're definitely bouncing off those and ruining my day. Uh, so we've got boost pads. These are the orange glowy ones. There's a jump pad uh, that will come across in some levels. Uh, that, well, funnily enough, jumps the car up into the air. It helps you get to different parts. Um, there are explody walls, sort of bits of wall you can't hit that will insta-kill your car. Uh, there are police cars that can give chase to you that you've got to deal with. Uh, and if you get hit by them... Uh, you are busted and you have to try again. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different hazards and there are more... Oh, okay, right. <laughs> That's some learning of level being done right there. Uh, we're going to have to go on the brake for that boost pad. So this boost pad is needed to go... Some, but sometimes you need full throttle over the boost pads. Sometimes you need to slam on the brakes. Uh, that one there is a slam on the brakes before you go sh over shooting. Okay, that's a pretty easy to get to parking space. Now goes to the more fiddly ones where we're going to have to be precise. Uh, I don't know how much they ruin your day, these bumpers. If I can avoid them, I shall. Oh dear, I've just gone. So as you go through, you get the you get the uh, like I guess star rating, uh, whatever it's called on here. I'm not actually sure. Uh, and as you go through, you unlock mastery levels that are considerably tougher, which are the ones I've just come from playing, and these levels are quite nice. <laughs> oh, I was doing the mastery levels for the first island, and uh, they are a lot fiddlier. Uh, we'll have a look at some of those, don't worry. Oh, we've got teleporters, of course. How could I forget? We have to deal with those as well. Oh, I've got the explodey walls. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a quick inspect. Uh, right. So, the way it looks to me is we're always going to have to go up and around through the explodey walls. So, explodey walls plus slippery surface is dangerous. I'm going to boop into them a few times. So, we have to jump down here, but we're going to jump far enough that we'll make it down here, but not too far. We hit the boosty pads. Parking space over that side, that's no problem. There's parking space over there, shouldn't, that's not really too much of a problem one. And then the portal one, doesn't look too bad either. Um... Yeah, it's always worth to have a little inspect around, uh, especially when it gets to the more complicated levels. Right, that's whoop, a little bit too far. No, that's actually that's not too bad. You have got quite a lot of inner control of your vehicle. Uh, you can twist it and spin it around, which is quite nice. Carefully does it. Um, so, yeah, like for example here, we can actually twist it about all over the place. Uh, I will say, as far as the, as far as the physics, as far as the handling goes, it is very good and it has to be because this is a game all about uh, precision and all about i say being perfect a lot of the time making absolutely zero mistakes uh and it, it is good there are a couple of times where it can get away a little bit uh it's the jumps that are the biggest problem that i have come across with the vehicle sometimes it will just bounce awkwardly on a landing and you can't always predict what it's going to do on a landing, and that's a problem. Because when you're trying to have these perfect, perfect runs and everything's got to be spot on, if you're not completely sure what the car is going to do on the landing sometimes, or sometimes it can just bounce a little bit awkwardly, sometimes you can just clip something a little bit funny, and it can just spit the car in a way that you're not expecting, or a way that it, it perhaps shouldn't have done. Uh, it gets... The more complicated the level, the more, I say, infuriating it can be. Especially when you've got some very, you've got to be very, very precise, it can be very fiddly. Um, it can be quite annoying. I don't know whether it's going to come across any of that on this level. I don't know what the hell that thing does. Uh, okay, it's like a freezy kind of zone. So I guess if we stay in it too long, we freeze, maybe? Oh, okay, that's new. <laughs> that's new. Yeah, there definitely does seem to be plenty of uh, new hazards to be added in here. So, I mean, this, I guess, we've got to try and race around here as quickly as possible. Oh! Oh, I actually got some control of this. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. 
it's it's kind of cool when it's on a nice simple level. <laughs> that's gonna get so uh, that's gonna get so less cool when we get to a really complicated. I know you're going to do something mean with that game. I can sense it. I can bloody sense it. Uh, right, I mean, these levels aren't. Uh, there's always boost padding around to a park. I'm, I'm gonna guess this might be a fuel shortened one. There might be some issues with fuel. Yeah, fuel going down quite quickly. So always around the outside of that. Oh, okay, thankfully that wall we get away with bumping. Oh, just. Right, we're going to be a nice cube uh, for this. Uh, actually, I mean, we can avoid it a little bit around the outside there, which is probably, you probably want to avoid it for as long as possible. Oh, okay, that worked. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess you have to go around the outside, otherwise you're going to run out of momentum trying to get into the centre part. That's fine. Oh, it really likes to freeze me at the moment. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've got... The one down there is easy. It's going to be just an ice cube it down the hill. That's fine. The ones up there... If we, if we get up here quickly, kind of skirt between them, make the most of the little gap... We can, oh, although we can't be an ice cube because we're going to hit the wall and explode there. That could be nasty, right? That's going to be the tougher one, I think. Uh, so, we can get through there. So, we've got an explodey wall up at the top part. So, if we just let it unfreeze. Okay, so we can ice cube it and hold it there. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not the nicest. Uh, can we just un... There we go. And then we can hopefully not be an ice cube for this jump. And we are nicely parked. Although it wouldn't probably matter too much if we were an ice cube up there. Nothing I can do to un-ice cube myself here. But I do have some control down the hill. Uh, don't have any brakes. But that's fine. Oh, I should have just steered into the wall. Actually, <laughs> I don't know why I steered away. I should have just booped it into the wall and got it stopped. And there we go. Um, okay, that was... Oh, now it's... Oh, what the hell are those things? Uh, so, the fans, I think I forgot, there's a fan that blows the car away, there's a magnet that sucks the car to it, so sometimes you have to be dodging in and out of those, they're mean. Uh, I'm going to presume these are electrical grids, if you hit them you die, that's generally just taller, which I haven't seen sort of double high, I guess it's to stop you from cutting something. Uh, where are we, so we're parking over there, I don't know how we get to there, how the hell do we get to there actually? Um... Oh no, I know how to get there. We're going to we're gonna slowly turn right off the end of the start platform and let the fan blow us that direction. And the other one... How do we get to the other one? Maybe very slow off that... I'm trying to think if I can actually cheese it. If you jump... If we jump down to very slowly off that ramp... Okay. There are, oh, there are three spots. God knows where the third one is. So we can go over here. Ah, the third one's down there. I mean, we can just cheese that. That's no problem. How the hell do I get to the third one? This other one, I think we just go this way. Whoop. Ah. I mean, this is not the easiest one to... No, no, definitely don't like that. Probably the easiest one to get to, but... Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can park in there. Those blue grids have obviously got to be something to do with letting us get down uh, that further part. Uh, do we have to become a... Ah, no, I see how to do it. Oh. Okay, right. I got it. <laughs> so we're going to have to do this. We have to do this really quickly, because I don't think we can be an ice cube if we're going to get through here. Right, car, go. Oh. Oh, bloody hell, that's close. Right. Okay, I know how to do it. Nope. Actually, you might even hold on. Can I cheese this completely? No. <laughs> that was that was that was oh, that was the best piece of parking I've ever done on this game, and I will probably never do it that well again. There was a little bit of intent as well. It wasn't completely um, farted around by me when we got blown backwards by that. Right, and then we get the try and get this jump correctly. Uh, I should probably focus on doing this one first. Ah, you see what I mean about sometimes bouncing a little bit awkwardly. Ah, beans. Yeah, sometimes you take these landings and it seems fine, and I mean, there was one level that has, I'll probably show you the level 
uh, after this one because it is a more complicated level uh, which I'm sure you will want to see me tackle because uh, these haven't been too bad so far. I'm so disappointed my amazing like reverse parking. Oh, that's actually very neatly done there. Um, for that piece of parking and then we'll just hop over this way. Oh, please tell me I've jumped far enough. I have. I mean, this level could be a lot meaner. You could have explodey walls around the place and that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is not, not too crazy a level. And there we go. Uh, shall we do... You know what? We're going to go back to... Uh, oh, I've got to faff around. So, is it, so the game world is broken down into these different areas. We have the Antarctica bits that we're doing at the moment. There's a little bit more to this one that we'll come, I'm sure, come back to at some point. Um, yeah. However, to navigate around. So there's no real sort of overview. It's kind of like this free free roam world, which is... I mean, it's it's pretty, it's fun. However, it does mean to go between levels, I've got to drive around and try and remember where the actual start line is for some of the levels. Oh, uh, which I don't. <laughs> uh, ah, actually, I am close to where I want to go. Here. So we're going to go over to the Mastery Island 3. Uh, this is for some of the more difficult... Uh, levels essentially. These are the most difficult levels I've done so far in the game. Uh, we have to jump around here I think. And we will find... Whoop, uh, here we go. This one's an asshole. <laughs> Madhouse. So this is the level that I was doing just before I started to film that other one. So this has got lots of hazards. Okay, so there are parking spaces. There's one down there. There's one down there. There's one over there. There's one right at the bottom down there. And then there's one in this corner. Horrible. Uh, there are lots of hazards to deal with. So the first sort of problem bit is... I've got to get down to that, well, that one lower. I'm always going to go for this one first because it's an absolutely nasty bugger to get. Uh, basically, because the magnets pull you about and you've got to kind of bodge the car against the wall so that you can then get through the portal and then you can park here. And then we'll focus on the other ones. And because that one there seems to be so hit and miss for me that... Uh, oh, no, I've overshot that one. <laughs> I'm down. That's why I'll go for that one first. Uh, so the other thing, well, sometimes with the camera angle, it is, it's really... On these more complex levels, it's easy to misjudge it. Now, I know that's on me not being good enough driver and everything, Ooh, but it does make it difficult at times. Now we've got to deal with a police car giving chase, going through explodey things. We've got a boxing glove. Oy. I'm not going to be going fast enough. Now am I? Oh, no, I am. Awesome. Now we've got another police car giving chase. Go away, police car. Oh no! I, I, I came to a complete stop. I meant to. I didn't mean to come to a complete stop. I meant to just stop long enough to let the police car go bloody through. Uh, right. We're going to steer more that way. There we go. Oh no! And I hit the bloody explody pad. Um, right. Okay. That's fine. Uh, okay. Police car hit the mine. No. Hammer. Ah, oh, it would. Oh, he hit the explody wall. Fantastic. Uh, now this bit here. I mean, I can park on this one. That's, I mean, see, that one's easy to get to. It's the ones further around that are a lot tougher. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. I know better than that. <laughs> I know better than that. I've got to really steer more across this direction. That's more like it. Okay, dodge the hammer. Hey, police car got taken out by said hammer. Uh, and now you see the level of difficulty it can start getting to, because I've got to do all of this perfectly multiple times. Oh, I meant to try and get down there. Oh, I actually nearly got flung forward. If you get busted but still land in the parking space, it's fine as well, uh, which is quite uh, quite funny. Let's see if I can actually get to the further... I've never actually got to the furthest away one, let alone getting through all of this in one go. Uh, let's try and get to the furthest away space. Just to get there, we've got to whiz around here. Oh, nick the wall. Ah, I've got to jump down that part. All right, that's fine. But you see what I mean? These levels can get incredibly difficult. And they can get frustrating because, let's face it, oh, you've gone through this multiple times. You're on the final car, let's say, and you have a slightly awkward bounce on one of these landings that leaves your car stuck. Or you slightly don't see where the hammer is, for example, while being chased by the police car. And it's things like that. I mean, admittedly, it gets... Oh, I see hell. Miss seeing where the hammer is, well... You know, that's that, that's fair game. At least that's, a, that's a, like a fixed thing. Uh, that time, we did get it right. Um, but yeah, if you have a slight awkward bounce and your car is all of a sudden in a weird position where it shouldn't have been any of the other times, it can be a little bit annoying. Uh, can we get down here? We can. Perfect. Right. So, I mean, I know I can get there. 
Uh, I know I can get to most of the other ones. Is it? Uh, this is why I should. I tend to try and do the hardest parking spot first because the theory goes hey, that uh, if I get the hardest one done first, and then the others should all be a little bit more straightforward for me. Uh, right? Can I get that police car to hit something solid? Uh, we. Oh, that didn't count. I thought I was going to leave the car in the spot. Uh, so yeah, we'll play with a magnet first. We come on, land on your wheels. There we go. Is th I'm sure there is a way to do that. I have absolutely no doubt there is a way to do that. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Why am I so bad at remembering how far across I need to go? I'm sure there is a way to do it that isn't just dumb blind luck of can I kind of bounce it off the wall and off the tree. Uh, oh, that's a new one. But <laughs> I guess we've kind of got to drop it down here. Just don't want to do that. Uh, Apollo has... Apollo, people are allowed to walk outside my house, buddy. Um, nope, that's not the way to do it either. Uh, there's got to be a way that I, is smarter than this. Uh, that it's just pure luck. You get the idea of the complexity the levels can get to. Um, that was nicely done. All right, and now we can try and begin our goal of getting all the other ones. Remember to steer more this way. Um, I did keep having... The reason why I'm having difficulty doing that one is when I was first playing this level, I kept going too far the other way, which is what kept getting me in trouble. Uh, so, hence why I've now gone back. But I've, I've gone back to the to a point where... Oh, I've misjudged that. <sighs> you get the idea, though. I'm not going to keep doing this because I will be here all day. Um... Uh, this one here was also nasty. I'm not. I'm not going to try. So I'm not going to try and complete it. Uh, this was one that uh, had a bit of an awkward uh, section. So you have like these vertical hairpins. That's fine. Uh, however, on this one here, sometimes the car just bounced off the hairpin. Like it just bounced off the kind of upward section, which was a little difficult to. Which was kind of annoying when you got two cars parked perfectly and then it just pinged off wildly for seemingly no real reason. The physics, though, on the whole, is, is very, very good. I can't criticise it too much, uh, but just at times, it can get a little... That was my driving. It can get a little bit infuriating, um, but I think that's kind of part of the say part of the game. It is one of those kind of those kind of games. When... I say, whenever these go well, it is very good fun. My actual main criticism of the whole thing is this bollocks. Now... <laughs> Uh, there's not a huge amount to unlock in this game other than levels, but you can customise your vehicle. The problem is, is most of the customization stuff is locked behind something you have to pay for. In a game, you've already paid for. It's really annoying. I say it's really, it's actually really obnoxious almost. Um, I like, I, you know, I'd like to be able to customise the cars with fun stuff, but everything fun you have to pay extra for. It, just, it shouldn't be a thing. On a game like this, it really, really shouldn't be a thing. So, uh, you know, like the fun vehicles, you know, a vintage car. Uh, yeah, not going to be getting that. So we're only stuck with the three kind of basic cars. Okay, you've got a penguin on the roof, which is kind of cool. And yeah, there are some bits for free for playing through the levels, but come on now. Uh, okay, sure, we can get a van eventually. Um, if you have the fun... Fun stuff is all kind of paid for things in a game we've already paid for. It's just, no, come on, do better. Do better than that. Um, in a free game, it's a certainly a lot less egregious having that style of economy, if you like having a battle pass or a parking pass in this one. But uh, when the only real unlock is going to be cosmetic stuff in a game, having all of the fun cosmetic stuff hidden behind an extra paywall is crappy. And it's such a shame that it's in what is a very, very good game. I haven't actually even gone into the multiplayer side of things. Because the game is really good fun. I really like this game. So it is such a shame that the unlocks are ki kind of ruin it quite a lot, um, in my opinion. Uh, how do we get back to Antarctica? I guess we go back through here. Yeah, I'm like... I'm the... I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of free modey bit in between, just because it's a little bit awkward to get to a specific level. It'd be nice to have this and have an option to go through the menus if you wanted to find a level select quickly. Uh, that would be nice, but as it is, I can just have sort of level stats, uh, as you can see. I mean, I don't know what comes after the, the Antarctica. Uh, I'm sure there are more levels to, to go after this. Um, 
But uh, certainly some of the really difficult ones will keep you busy for a long time. Uh, there's plenty of uh, replayability. There's plenty of playtime in this one. Um, shall we just go... I'll go see what this last one is, if it's not going to take ridiculously long. Oh, that looks mean. <laughs> That just, that just looks mean to me. Uh, let's go have a go. It looks like we're just going to be trying to whiz through. Uh, I mean, we a lot of this level looks like it's going to be kind of trying to... Certainly this, this section has been trying to avoid having your vehicle turn into a block of ice, which is kind of fun. Uh, it's a new little mechanic. Oh, wow, I'm an idiot on that one. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm just an idiot myself. Uh, that's going to go... Ah, uh, oh, damn it. That's going to go a little bit wrong. Uh, right. I say we'll have one more go. It, it, this is a classic. Oh, I'll just have one more run. And then, like, 20 minutes later, he's still going. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of dodge in between uh, that sort of stuff. That's fine. I can get... Oh, I can't jump off over there. And I, there are... I have no doubt there are plenty of shortcuts on some of these levels as well that uh, players are going to be able to find to uh, make the most... Or to, to make quicker and quicker times for these runs, which is kind of fun. I found a couple of them. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was just me getting caught out on the ice a little bit. And because, yeah, you're sliding. You, like, this doesn't make the biggest difference in the world to the cars, but it does make a slight difference to what I was used to on the uh, tarmac levels, basically. Uh, oy. And stop. I, oh, did I not restart the level? Oh, I'm an idiot. Where's the other one, then? So, oh, I see where the other one is. Uh, all right, through there we go. I guess the other one we have to drop down. Because I wondered why there was an extra bit of space. I thought this was all walled in. I miss, I miss saw the wall. I wonder why there's an extra bit of space over there. Uh, right, so we've got to jump down here. Oh, and then we've got to really go through there. Hmm. If you get it turned, I guess the block of ice can bounce against the wall. But, uh, right. Definitely one more go. Definitely. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, did I not restart it? I thought I'd press restart, not go again. <laughs> Apparently, I'm an idiot. Right, now, 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 this is the, the final go. Uh, we threw there. Nicely does it. And parked. Okay. The one we've got to try and get right. Oh, so we haven't got it right yet. Is this one that was very close. Uh, so this is going to have to be a drive like a lunatic. Oh, wait, now I'm not quite set up. So we can spend a little bit of time. I'm not too worried about getting, you know, the absolute best leaderboard time here. Oh, that can bounce over the tyre bundles. Well, that's fun to know. <laughs> oh, and on that note, I am going to maybe be leaving it. Maybe. Let's just see if I can do this. I promise, this if this video is on for like another half hour, it's because I've been infuriated by this level. I will not be beaten by your stupid parking. Wee. There we go, a little bit of a bounce. Okay. Through here, through here. Ah, yes, uniced and parks. Lovely stuff. Uh, yeah, I do very much recommend this game, and I believe it is on Game Pass as well. So uh, if you have the Game Pass, oh, because I'm an idiot. If you have the Game Pass, I definitely recommend you give it a give it a look. Um, as I said, I I loathe the fact that there's a stupid battle pass system for what is essentially the only thing you're going to be unlocking outside of new levels. Uh, the only thing you're going to be changing is the cosmetics of the cars, and it's all hidden behind an extra paywall, which is really scummy. Uh, otherwise, though. It is a very, very good game. Infuriating at times. I mean, it looks good, plays good. On the most part, the occasional weird bobble on the landings of jumps, which is a problem when the levels can quite involve them. It's only, it's only sometimes, and I'm sure part of it's down to me with how I'm positioning the car somewhere. But, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit infuriating, but it is that style of game. As I said, the unlock system... I it's probably the thing that's going to turn people most off of this one. It's such a stupid shot you in the foot, essentially. Because um, it is a really, really fun game. A really good challenge. Always enjoy a good, uh, a good puzzle driving game. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.